someone must have slandered Joseph K. Because although he had done nothing wrong, he was arrested one morning. Anna, the cook who brought him breakfast every morning, didn't come this time. That had never happened before. Who are you? You rang? Yes. Anna's to bring me breakfast. He wants Anna to bring him breakfast. <laughs> it's not possible. Wouldn't you rather stay here? You can't leave. You're being held. I'm sorry about the breakfast today. They forbid me from coming to your place. You should have stayed in your room. Didn't Franz tell you that? You're un And why is that? Let me see your papers. You're behaving worse than a child. Do you want to end your process by discussing our papers with us? We're just lowly employees, but our authorities obtained detailed reports on the person arrested before ordering an arrest. There's been no mistake. The inspector wants you. What are you thinking? Do you want to see the inspector in your nightshirt? He'll have you flogged and us along with you. Stop that, it won't accomplish anything. Joseph K. Huh. You're no doubt greatly surprised by this morning's events. I can't think of the slightest offense of which I might be accused. Don't make such a fuss about how innocent you feel. It disturbs the otherwise not unfavorable impression you make. I can't report that you've been accused of anything. You, there will be an inquiry into your affair next Sunday. These inquiries will now be held on a regular basis. Here is the number of the building in which you are to appear. Kay had resolved at once to go to said house on Sunday. The trial was getting underway and he had to put up a fight. This initial inquiry must also be the last. You should have been here an hour and five minutes ago. Nobody told me when the trial starts. Yes, but now I'm no longer required to examine you. However, I'll make an exception for today. 
So, you're a house painter? No, I'm the chief financial officer of a large bank. There can be no doubt that these proceedings are senseless and that innocent people are being arrested because of it. I won't waste my time with you. Today, you have deprived yourself of the advantage which an interrogation offers. You <laughs> scoundrels. You can have all your interrogations. After visiting the court, Kay began to question whether it was wise to ignore and mock the trial. Once a week, he would visit a girl named Elsa, who worked as a waitress at night and received visitors during the day while lying in bed. Today, however, he decided instead to see Huld, a lawyer who had been recommended to him I'm here to see Lawyer Holt. The lawyer is ill, but I will introduce you. Chief Financial Officer Joseph K. I am very interested in your matter. How do you know about me and my trial? I move in legal circles. Various trials are discussed and the more striking ones stick in one's memory. The court wants to eliminate the defense as much as possible. Everything is to be laid upon, but there is no other court before which there is a greater need for lawyers. I'll go see what's happened. It was nothing. I just threw a plate against the wall to get you to come out. I can help you better than he can. It's very rude to leave in the middle of a conversation. If you want my help, please come with me. Lenny, leave us alone. Should I really get Lenny's help? You chose well. You needn't worry about help. I'll help you myself. But we have to hide from Dr. Hold, or everything will go wrong. Go on, don't stop. Dr. Hold is looking for us. Thank you. 
They're nice landscapes. I'll buy them and hang them in my office. Some people are put off by paintings like these because they're too somber, but others, and you're among them. I know a lot about this court and the deceit it makes necessary. Some court employees can be bribed. I can study. I have to study all the files. I already know how to help you. By the way, call me Lenny. You're too stubborn, I understand. Who said that? I'd reveal too much if I told you, but don't be so stubborn. You have to confess 